after we face a rejection and a no or we have a meeting and no one shows up or somebody say you can count on me and they don't come through what if we have that kind of attitude the cars repossessed nobody believes in you you've lost again and again and again the lights are cut off but you're still looking at your dream reviewing it every day and say to yourself it's not over until i win when you do it for a legacy everything you do holds value there are no shortcuts. You went to every fucking corner and made a left turn or a right turn, and then you went down the next path. And sure, everything and the opportunity was presented. That you got the most at each situation you could. Regrets, the bad things or the stupid things, you learn not to do bad things or stupid things. That's why failure is so important. Like failing and fucking up and making mistakes. It's very important. You know, that's how you learn. Sometimes life's gonna hit you in the head with a brick. Don't lose faith. I'm convinced that the only thing that kept me going was that I loved what I did. You've got to find what you love. And that is as true for work as it is for your lovers. Your work is going to fill a large part of your life. And the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. And nowadays, you know, shit, for the past 20 some years, I don't need fucking purpose. And people miss out on this, man. The purpose, we're all looking for this golden purpose. Is it this? Is it that? Is it making money? It, is, it, is it my family? Motherfucker, the purpose is you. It says, the face of truth is open. The eyes of truth are bright. The lips of truth are ever closed. The head of truth is upright. The breast of truth stands forward. The gaze of truth is straight. Truth has neither fear nor doubt. Truth has patience to wait. Determination. To what I do, don't be busy. Um, luck. <laughs> it's really helpful without the old screw. <laughs> and having the right people around. Somebody came to my office the other day crying. I said, look, don't cry to give up. Cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain. You already hurt. Get a reward from it. Don't go to sleep until you succeed. People don't have to like you. People don't have to love you. They don't even have to respect you. But when you look in the mirror, you better love what you see. Yeah. I don't care how good you are in anything. You don't have discipline. You ain't nobody. Right. You ain't nothing without discipline. Because you give up on the slightest struggle without discipline. 100%. I mean, discipline is doing what you hate to do, but do it like you love it. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever want to be successful. I love to talk about mindset, mindset, mindset. All right. So what happens is you got all this stuff in your mind. What are you going to do with it? I want to talk about winning. And winning requires action. It requires taking what's in here and actually applying it. It's not about thinking big, it's about doing big. Opportunity shies away from need. Opportunity shies away from need. But opportunity is attracted by talent and ability. A person's strengths are often their biggest weaknesses. And so that also means that their weaknesses can be their strengths. I am weak. In all those ways that I listed, I am weak. But I don't accept that. I don't accept that I am what I am and that that is what I'm doomed to be. I don't accept that. I'm fighting. I'm always fighting. I'm struggling and I'm scrapping and I'm kicking and clawing at those weaknesses to change them, to stop them. Ray Kroc says this, as long as you're green, you're growing. But once you're ripe, you start to rot. And so one of the questions you gotta ask yourself every day when you look in the mirror, when it comes to this how we do it and getting better at how you do it, you got to ask yourself, am I still learning? Am I still growing? Am I still becoming a better version than I was yesterday, today? 
and tomorrow what am I going to do to get better than I am today? Once you stop doing that, you start to rock. You can't transform yourself. You can't make yourself sane. You can't make yourself loving. You can't make yourself unselfish. And yet it's absolutely necessary that we be that way. It's absolutely necessary. If we are going to hand over the direction of nature to nature, which is what it comes to, it's our intention. Our intention is everything. Nothing happens on this planet without it. Not one single thing has ever been accomplished without intention. I said, empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow. Oh, it can crash. Be water, my friend. I a lot of feel. I feel for funny things that I failed a key primary school test for two times, and I failed uh, three times for the middle school. Good middle schools, you know. For three years, I tried to fail in the universities. So I applied jobs, well, thirty times, got rejected. I went for a place. They said, "No, you're not good." I went to even the uh, KFC. You Twenty, twenty-four people went for the job. Twenty-three people accepted. I was the only one guy. You gotta have a plan. Everybody's got a dream. Everybody's got a goal. What's the plan? And your plan has got to have something I call the C5 complex. Your plan has got to be clear, concise, compelling, consistent, and committed. You've got to have a plan. And when you're trying to do something that you're truly passionate about, there is no plan B. Please don't call me arrogant because what I, I'm saying is true. I'm European champion, so I'm not one of of the bottle. I'm a, I think I'm a special one.